this is a list of things that women married to Kikuyu men will never experience in their entire marriage. Number one, being comforted when crying. Kubembelezwa atijunalia. No Kikuyu man will comfort his wife just because she is crying. Madam, utalia, you cry yourself to bed, you cry your heart out, you cry and cry and cry. A Kikuyu man will not comfort you. Hata kubembeleza. He will wait for you to cry and finish. Alafu life inaendelea. You're not even going to talk about what was making you cry. No. You cry, cry, finish, and then life inaendelea as normal. Number two. Kupikiwa just because you're late from work or you're late from just somewhere else. Ati you're, you're expecting that your Kikuyu man will cook for you just because you're late. My friend, utatoka kwenye umetoka satano, doesn't matter whether you're drunk, doesn't matter whether you're tired, utakuja, you will find your Kikuyu man on the seat, watching TV or on his phone, waiting for you to come and cook. It doesn't matter kama nisa sita, ama nisa saba, ama nisa nane, you will come and cook. A Kikuyu man will not cook for you. Number three, Kikuyu men don't give their wives money without knowing what project that money is for. Let me tell you, Maina, hakuna mwanaume mkikuyu atachukua pesa mahali ya kwambie, hey, my wife, take this 10,000, you can use them to do whatever you want. Wapi. A Kikuyu man will only give you money when he has confirmed what you want to do with the money. And ikiisha and you make a mistake to go and tell him that the money ilisha, atakulizo ulifanya nini? He, kwani ulifanya nini pesa ta ukumi ikaisha? Those are three things that women married to Kikuyu men will never experience. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, I don't know how true this is, but if it's true, then any woman married to a QQ man is in trouble. <laughs> okay, I don't think he just QQ men, okay? If I thought this is true, her narrations are true. You guys, you know, I always come back to the comment section. If it is true, let me know in the comments. If it's not true, also let me know in the comments. But I'm going to be as uh, transparent or as real as possible, okay? One of the things you should know is that some of these things are not about uh, tribe, okay? But about the personality or the person involved. Okay? I'm, current, I'm actually an Igbo girl who got married to a Yoruba man, okay? One of the things I always hear is people telling me, oh, Yoruba people, uh, Yoruba men are evil, like uh, Yoruba demons and everything, like, you know, all of those things. Some of them will tell you, oh, you're going to get this, you're going to get that. They don't help their women. They're not like this. But it was all different when I eventually get married. My husband is quite different, okay? This is not to praise him in any way because I know he's going to watch this video and I don't want him to feel like I'm trying to praise him on social media. Oh my God. <laughs> Did I say that? And my face was so straight when I was saying that. Anyway, editor, cut this part. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys so let's get serious right now <laughs> so i think it has to do with personality at the end of the day because it depends on the person you are dealing with okay but i also go back to one of my previous statements that i've made in one of my videos that some men from nigeria i can never marry okay from a particular tribe and this is because i feel that they don't know how to get married to women they don't know how to take care of their women okay and it has always always repeated itself each time they get married to women you know in nigeria you find out they don't take care of them they they just believe in a particular way of life imagine coming back from work and you know you are the one who works your husband probably might be like an online worker or probably he doesn't even have a job and you're coming back from work and he expects you to also go into the kitchen and cook. For God's sake, we're going to go in hungry. I'm going to sleep hungry. You are going to sleep hungry. Everybody will go to bed hungry. And that is on period. That's me, okay? I'm not going to try all those rubbish. Coming, you know, going to the kitchen, coming back late at night, and I'm going to cook for you because you feel that you're a man and then I'm a woman. Then that makes you higher than me. It's not possible. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> that's me personally. 
but you guys let me know what you think in the comment section okay then she also mentioned about you crying yourself to sleep and he will never ask you uh you know if anything is wrong with you or you know trying to pet you or trying to you know and some of this cry you're crying he's actually a cause of it and at the end of the day he doesn't care if you're crying at the end of the day you're going to cry yourself to bed or clean your tears and move on with life there are men like that it's not just about the tribe okay there are people like that whose mind is made up like like they know how to give people breakfast like when they have done their own they have done their own if you like cry to tomorrow they're not going to change it's not going to change anything about them and that's them for you right but trust me <laughs> if you're that kind of woman and you're with that kind of man then you need to brace up and stop crying for every little thing because when you keep crying trust me the man will keep doing whatever thing that he's doing and that's my own opinion let me know your opinion in the comment section i don't really know much about the kenyan tribes okay but i've really met good men okay in kenya yeah i've met good men and i have a friend who is currently married to a kenyan and yeah the guy is also good but i don't know where the guy is from I've, i think i have to ask her <laughs> okay what tribe is your husband from i think i have to ask her but what i'm just trying to say is that it depends on who you're dealing with at the time okay i don't think it has to do with every man out there okay don't just uh stereotype a particular people and say oh these people are like this except over time over time over time they've proven themselves to be that particular person like everybody you are seeing in that coming out from that particular place is this person so there is a particular tribe my parents will never let us to get married to like they already know that <laughs> anytime we talk about these people my parents are telling you no you're not going to get married to this person if it's from here then forget about it and they are not doing it because they hate this person okay but over time this one has proven to be these people they are proven to be like this they're proven to have coconut head they are not changing it's not like we've seen one person that i'm not saying there is none but i'm just saying we have not experienced one person who got married to them and came back with all sort of joy okay and saying oh my husband is good even in good and in bad times we're okay we're doing well okay but some of them can really be terrible some of them may end up not helping you <laughs> like she mentioned in that video some of them might end up not helping you and not giving you money like why should i even ask for money why should every time i have to write down all the list or the items i need on it okay for you to give me money it doesn't make sense like sometimes surprise your woman sometimes buy gifts sometimes give her money sometimes send money to her impressor send money to her account make her just feel like oh you're welcome in this place right but don't make the woman feel like oh nothing about you matters i think that was one of the things that she mentioned in that video that really cut me off <laughs> off balance like uh, but you see that food part where i have to come back from work <laughs> you are in the house and you stretch your leg in the parlor sitting room watching tv trust me i am not going to cook for you you're going to cook for yourself alone that day <laughs> <laughs> anyway that women that marry this kind of people and they're enjoying it they're having fun like they have peace of mind i don't know how you guys get the peace but that's what i feel that you guys are peaceful you guys have peace because tell me why you live with somebody like this forever and ever okay let me end this video here before i talk what is uh out of point <laughs> anyway guys let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section i'll be here to read from you and also you know interact with you in the comment section thank you so much for watching if you have not subscribed please do well to hit that subscribe button be part of the family subscribe 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 and also like this video okay so see you guys on my next video for now i have to say bye guys